Hey everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. If you're new here, my name is Jasmine, and if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. So I am filming a bunch of reviews today. I've been asked to film a review and then I've also thought it was about time to film a review of some items that I've been using for a period of a couple of months to a span of a couple of years. So uh, the first uh, item that I'm going to be reviewing today is, and you'll probably see a series of videos where I'm wearing the same outfit because I'm too lazy to change, but you know, you understand, block filming, this is what we got to do, we got to block film because it takes it takes time to film, but this is, uh, if you guys, oh, it's really heavy, <laughs> um, this is my Chanel Deauville tote, this is the one that I purchased, and this is actually my only tote from Chanel, um, I have, I mean, I've got smaller tote bags, uh, not really tote, like I have smaller work bags, but um, not uh, not of this size. This is enormous. And I purchased this last year, if you've been following me since I started, um, last spring. So for the 20S collection, this gray came out um, in shoes. I don't know if they had any classic flaps, because I know there's a gray coming out for the upcoming uh, 21A Métier d'Art collection. Um, and it's a lighter gray than this, but this is a beautiful blue toned gray. And I'm gonna put this down because it's, it's full. But anyway, uh, as you know, I ended up with two of these bags and the funny story is, is I saw it last spring when you know we had opened up after a very long lockdown and I tried it on. I really love the color because I always wanted this bag in black. I still want it in black, but I always wanted it in black and um, my husband's opinion was, well, you know, it looks, it looks a little bit harsh with the gold studding, but I, I think it looks amazing. But um, I took some photos. I, I was visiting a couple of times, you know, to drop things off for repair and pick things up. But I um, sent him a photo, and uh, you know, I went back and I looked at it again. And then at one point, I was just like, you know what? Like, I'm just gonna pick it up. So I bought it, and I bought it, and then lo and behold you know, I found out that my husband actually ended up purchasing this bag um, already for me as a surprise, which is very nice, uh, but it was a bit funny because when you buy this bag, it comes in an enormous box, like it's huge. Uh, it's a very big box and the bag is enormous and it's a bit ridiculous to walk out of the boutique with it and even more ridiculous to do the walk of shame walking back with that bag to return. So, um, so I had two of those bags and then I filmed an unboxing and then of course the one that I bought I didn't even open because I was like, you know, I'm just going to return it. So I took it back and that day I used, I mean we don't have um, full refunds here. So we get store credit, but that day I ended up using that credit to purchase my uh, green trendy CC from last year's Métier d'Art collection and I don't have any regrets. I really love that bag as you guys already know. So I was reserving this more for travel and I have always imagined getting the Deauville tote for travel and it, you know, we're not traveling clearly since last year and I'm thinking, I'm like, why am I saving this? Like, I was using another tote and I'll probably insert a photo, it's a bit embarrassing. Um, and I put like my designer bag inside. But I have this like free tote that I got from Sally Beauty Supply last or two years ago during their Black Friday sale. It's perfect, it's shaped like the Dior book tote except it has longer handles, so it's very practical. And I was putting like my bag in there and then other items like my laptop, and I'm like, I should just carry what I have. <laughs> so I started carrying this when the weather started getting nice and sunny. And uh, we've had some beautiful sunny weather in Toronto and uh, you know, normally we don't get a lot of sunshine in the early spring. I mean, you think you would, but last couple of years, it's always been just gloomy and rainy, and then all of a sudden we get into summer. And this year we had a beautiful fall that was crisp and sunny, and then we also had a beautiful spring that was, you know, sunny and warm. We're also in a heat wave right now, which is great. I'm not, I'm not going to complain, but um, this actually is a beautiful color that would transition to fall as well. Uh, so I'm going to do a review my thoughts on using the bag, how I'm finding it. Overall, I do really love it, but there are some drawbacks to having a big bag. I'm enjoying using large bags um, since the last couple of months. I am still going into work, so it's not like I'm working from home, but I can imagine you know, even being at home to have a big bag to have everything in and just kind of carry around from room to room um, is actually pretty convenient to have everything in one spot. But I just feel so prepared for the day. 
This isn't a bag that you're gonna go out shopping in, obviously, uh, although I have done that once, um, just running errands, but it's not something that you're gonna lug around. So if you are gonna be commuting um, and taking transit, like if I was still taking the subway, I'm not gonna be using this bag because you're wearing this on your shoulder, you're gonna be bumping into people, like it's gonna be bumping into others and they're gonna get mad and people yell at you for bumping into them with your bag. Um, and then also just getting like smushed and stuff and um, well, it's probably not the reality right now because we're socially distanced on public transit, but you get my idea, right? Um, it's, it's a lot to carry on your shoulder. So for that, I would recommend getting a lighter weight tote. I always recommend the Longchamp uh, Le Pliage uh, nylon tote. I did a review before. That's a great bag if you want a tote bag or um, wear a backpack, okay? <laughs> really, like I advise people to wear a backpack for to save their back, but um, you know, for style, sometimes you want a tote bag. This is fully leather. I always wanted the Deauville tote in leather. I never liked the canvas version. I know when this first came out, this bag, I, was, I wasn't really into it because I was like, you know what, like I was more chasing um, classic bags and it was just a little bit too out there for me, but I do understand why people love this bag. The canvas, I've heard feedback that it frays and is hard to keep clean, so I can totally see that and some people have shared that experience. Um, that you know it doesn't wear as well, but you know if you're gonna be bougie on like a yacht or going to the beach and you want like a beautiful light colored canvas bag, yeah, go for it. Uh, if you want something that's gonna last you, then you know get leather. Uh, leather is always best, and I don't like buying canvas pieces. You probably already know just from what I've shown you so far. I don't have a lot of canvas. I don't have any canvas bags actually. No, I don't. No canvas bags whatsoever. All my bags are leather, so I prefer that. This is in caviar leather, so this has, um, it's like a very uh, fine grain, so it's more of like that smooth, like the softer caviar that they use on their seasonal bags, and it works well for this bag, but it is quite sturdy, as you can see, being even full and flopping around. Like it's not. It's not floppy, um, it hasn't collapsed or anything like that. It looks really structured still, so that's what I like about it. Whereas a canvas bag will, you know, droop at the bottom um, like a saggy diaper, but people like that look, so it's fine. Uh, this is, it has champagne gold hardware, and inside I do have an organizer from Zumani. It's an open top, which is a bit of a con, um, but also convenient at the same time. So. You just have to be a little bit cognizant about what you put in here and where you put it so that you know people can't just reach in. I drive nowadays so it's pretty secure um, so I'm not concerned and plus when you're traveling too, um, I'll, get, I'll get into that soon. So in here I'll do what's in my bag. So I have my organizer and maybe I'll come a little bit closer. So you can't see me right now but you can see the bag which is most important. So. On the outside of the organizer, I have my laptop, okay? So this is a 13-inch Mac, uh, MacBook Pro in its uh, case. I probably don't need to use a case for this bag, but I have it in here. And when I take the laptop out, it gets significantly lighter, okay? And also, when it's not as full, you get this sort of like winged shape on the side, which is really, really nice. Um, the inside, so I'll go in, I also have a case for my iPad, uh, this is just like a 10.2 inch iPad. And then in here, so in this pocket of the organizer, there's a large pocket on the side. Uh, I have my uh, Chanel 19 pouch, and I use this as kind of like my, you know, um, on the go wristlet. I will post a review of this as well. Uh, and it has like my wallet, um, sorry, my card holder, cash, change, uh, and all that. And I'll cover that in the review. And it's great for me to do like coffee runs and all that. Sorry, the tripod fell a little bit. Um, and this bit here, this is actually a detachable Velcro top zipper thingy for the organizer. And I'll get into why I've detached that. Um, and then... On, in these little pockets, I just have like a powder compact. I've got like hand sanitizer. Um, I have like a notebook. I have my mini pochette from Louis Vuitton. And this has like makeup, even though I don't even wear that much makeup these days. Um, sunglasses case. And these are, um, I've been wearing these a lot 
these are really, really, I don't know if you can tell. I unboxed these before. These are from last year. Um, really nice and polarized, so it's great. And key holder review of this also coming soon. Uh, another key holder. Hand cream uh, from Chanel. And I'll admit I'm not really using this as much because constantly washing and sanitizing my hands and then I just get lazy and applying this. Um, comb, a little uh, atomizer, perfume, a little makeup brush from Sephora <laughs> in its little case, and lipstick. This is just like, you know, I just have everything sort of thrown in but somewhat organized. Some lipstick and lip liner. Um, a mask in its case, a car key, and then just random receipts and stuff like that. So I'll I'll just take everything, all the, I'll just take this out, okay? So the thing with this organizer, it's really nice. It's got all these little compartments, so it's very easy to slot in those little, um, you know, bits and bobs that you don't want to lose and have it easily accessible. Um, the only thing is I, I selected the height for this. Um, so I measured this out for them, for Zumani to make for me, and I specified the height and they did recommend, okay, well, because the bag kind of goes out in like a trapezoid shape that, you know, it, you'd have to really know where you want to have it so that it's not like a big empty gap on the side. But I don't know, I think I would have, well, it also goes in like a triangle up top when you're, you know, holding the handles if it's empty. Uh, if it's full, then the handles are far apart. So. I guess if it was too high, then it would create like a basket sort of a situation. And this, um, you know, when you have this zipper, detachable zipper piece on top, which is great, but then it's too low in the bag. So if I just have everything in there, um, for day-to-day -day use is a bit annoying, I'll, I'll be honest with you. So I just took it off and but I, I guess for travel it would be good because you can put all your stuff inside and then on this empty bit here you can throw in like a scarf or a sweatshirt or something like that and um, you know it's a little bit more uh, hidden but I don't use it I have it still in the bag just in case but I don't really use that feature of the organizer inside what is this Um, inside, I also have a base shaper. So I have a base shaper from M Boutique uh, just to help with uh, structure because I don't want it to really sag. This has helped tremendously. So I had this custom made um, and you can contact M Boutique as well and measure the base of your bag and they can make one for you. They're based in Australia. They have an Etsy shop and I'll insert a link uh, to that shop in the description box below as well as like a coupon code. I also have a coupon code for Zamani. I don't make anything from these coupon codes. It's just there for you guys. So uh, I have, oh, I found a nickel, free money. So just getting into the bag. So in itself, it's quite structured, but as you can see without the base, you know, you will get a little bit of, um, you know, indenting here, but the base shaper really makes a huge difference, but it's a lot better than canvas, I'll tell you that, right? Speaking of comparison of this bag to canvas, I don't really find a huge difference of weight between the two bags, okay? So even the canvas is, heavy in itself and these are big bags they're gonna be heavy when you fill them so that's kind of inherent to the style of the bag this is the largest size uh, I'll measure this for you so on the website when they had this on there uh, I think I have a screenshot of it they showed it in the smaller size and it's a little bit cheaper than the larger size um, but not a huge difference so in inches if I was to measure the base from edge to edge it's 15 inches and then in centimeters, it is 38, 38, 39 centimeters across. So the difference between this and the size that's a little bit down from this is not huge. I think it's only like five centimeters. I think that one, the smaller one is 33 centimeters. And then there's this. And those are the two of the larger sizes. So it has two top handles like this, and then you've got two straps. And then there's a smaller size that comes in with just the two straps and no top handle. So this top handle feature has been really um, 
definitely anything with the top handle is always great for grab and go. So I went with the larger size because I've seen the two in black in Las Vegas and I did end up purchasing because the box is huge, like how am I going to bring that back in a carry-on? So I just didn't bother getting it, but I had a chance to compare the two in Vegas and I decided, you know what, they're both big bags. So this is not that much bigger than the other and I'm going to use it as a large bag. I'm not using this as a handbag for day-to-day -day purpose, so I'm just going to get the biggest one because I want to be able to put everything inside. This has been really handy for work, um, just putting in all the things that I have in here, my laptop, iPad, and all the things that I would need on a day-to-day -day basis. And you can even put a small handbag in here if you had to run out and do something and just wear it. And there are small, tiny handbags. I um, will show you, there's one that I did get and I have the unboxing film, but I'll, I'll post it soon once I edit it. And something like that, or the, the um, clutch that I have is really convenient to have inside. So it just feels great to be prepared for the day when you have everything. Uh, the uh, bag itself, so earlier versions um, would have the strap and then they didn't have this um, leather bit here. So on both of the shoulder straps, there's this leather bit in the middle. So it's very comfortable to wear on your shoulder. The length of this is absolutely wonderful. Like it is great over coats. Um, it's very comfortable, like it, you know, it lands as a, as a great uh, spot. So the top of the bag kind of lands at the crease of my elbow. So it's not like up in your armpit. And um, you can easily like get in and out of it if you want to. Um, there is, uh, so the earlier versions, the strap uh, would go through these little grommets. And there used to be a T-bar on the end, so you could remove the strap, but Chanel stopped doing those, and I'm assuming it's because they would easily come undone. But they have these uh, round stoppers that have a CC logo on there, and that's just a beautiful detail, so it stops the strap from coming out. But then if you don't want to use the strap, you can easily just pull those in and then carry it like that if you didn't want to. But I just like to have the strap hanging. I haven't experienced any like scuffs uh, or anything like that, but I do notice here I have some rubbing on this glazing bit here. I don't know if that's just dirt or if it's rubbing, but it's only on one spot. There are feet at the bottom that protect the bottom, which is really nice uh, so that you're not, um, you know, getting the base dirty. Uh, the top handles have been great. They're a really a good structure. I was thinking perhaps this would bend and like flop. Um, that hasn't happened because they stay up pretty upright. So that's great. The inside is suede and you've got two pockets. One on this side here, which goes like this and one on this side. And they're pretty generous zippered pockets like this. Okay, and you can put like personal items in there, uh, you can put cash in there, whatever you want that you don't want to get, you know, loose in the bag. There's also this key holder feature that they do in some of their tote bags um, here, and you could stick your keys on there, or you can put like your um, lanyard on there, like your work pass, or whatever it is you want, you can stick on here. I don't really use this because I use a key holder but I, I can see how this can be really handy. You can attach this to other things uh, with a D-ring on it um, and you know have something that's easily accessible. Uh, the inside of my bag is very clean because I use a bag organizer, so that really helps uh, to you know not only help with structure and organization, but it helps to keep the inside of your bag clean because you've got all the stuff that's in there. So if I'm putting pens in my bag, I'm not afraid of the pen bursting and leaking because if it's going to leak, it's going to leak inside the organizer, not my bag. So that's a really good um, you know thing to buy. Uh, what else? Okay, so features. Uh, I'll take you. Maybe I'll do like a close-up cutaway shot, but I'm just going to try to show you here. Um, so on each of the grommets, this is beautiful shiny champagne gold hardware. I removed all the stickers a couple of months ago because I heard that if you leave stickers on, it uh, you get erosion of the metal finish underneath and it can turn like a bubbly green and it's not very cute. So I'm just going to take them off. Um, 
So this bit here, uh, these have stayed on as I expect them to. <laughs> Some people think that they might pop off. Um, the Each of the grommets has uh, 31 Rue Cambon on each of the grommets and on the bottom it says Chanel. Same as the back side as well. Uh, the back doesn't have any, um, you know, embellishment, which is really nice because you can flip the bag around if you don't, if you want to be a little bit low key. And, um, you know, it, it's, it's just nice to have that because sometimes, you know, you don't want to be walking around with a blaring logo. So you can turn it around and uh, be as discreet as you want. I like to think of this bag as a big basket. Uh, you just throw everything in, which is why I don't mind that it doesn't have a zip closure. It does have a button closure here. So there's two tabs, leather tabs here, and there is a magnetic um, button closure there. But realistically, when you have the bag that's full, these two edges are not gonna meet because you've got so much stuff in the middle. So. I don't really use that feature. And if I was only going to carry a very small amount of items that I am able to close this together, then I wouldn't be using this bag, I'd be using another one. But it's nice that it has it, but I don't really use it. The, actually I still have a sticker on here. Oh, I didn't take all the stickers off. So I still have a sticker on here. Um, great detail, so even, even on this part here that I took the sticker off, it says Chanel. Um, yeah, just Chanel. My bag is made in Italy, as most bags are these days, and just beautiful details, like even on like the little uh, studs here, there's a CC there. So just, you know, little elements that, you know, are well thought out in this bag. So it is a big basket. Uh, that's how I use it. Um, it's not heavy as a bag in itself, in my opinion, but because it's a big bag, you're going to be loading it up. So it will get heavy, but the nice thing is that it does have two shoulder straps that are quite nice and long, and then a top handle, which is a reason why I think this is a better option than the Dior Book Tote. I do really love that, and I like it because of the embroidery, and it's very artsy looking. There's an aesthetic to it, uh, but I really wish that they either made the handles a little bit longer, so you can wear it over your shoulder, or incorporated something, um, and, Maybe, maybe they might change that. Uh, another great option would be the uh, Saint Laurent uh, Rive Gauche Tote. That's a really good option too. It comes in canvas and it comes in full leather. So that would be a great one. Uh, as well as the Louis Vuitton uh, On The Go uh, Tote. And they have several sizes in that. And that is actually a very great shape. I Definitely love the shape of it. It's it's like a boxy, uh, you know, tote, just like the Dior book tote, but then it has long shoulder straps, which is absolutely perfect, and you can hide them away. Uh, the reason why I wasn't really into it to begin with is not because of the shape. I think it's very functional. It's just the loud monogram. I'm not... I've never been a fan of loud monogram on bags, so that's something that deterred me, but they do have seasonal variations. I think they have a non-plant leather uh, version, and then they also have, um, you know, more plain ones. So I don't know, it might be a good one to look into, uh, but this is the Chanel Deauville, and it is beautiful. I love that it's named after, uh, you know, an upscale seaside resort town in France and it's where Coco Chanel had one of her boutiques and yeah just very bougie town in France so uh, yeah that's that's the whole vibe but I use this for work I'm not going to the beach I'm not going on vacation yet so uh, but I would love to add a black one there was one that came out um, I think it was oh gosh I think it was for a cruise or 20k and it's black and it has beautiful embroidery. Uh, it's got pearls and chain detail and everything, but I was flabbergasted by the price because it was like seven grand uh, for the tote. And I'm like, I don't know if I want to spend that much on a tote bag, but now I'm kicking myself because I should have just, I really like it. It was the large, they didn't come in the largest size. It only came in the size that's a bit smaller. It came in white and it came in black and it's still stunning. Uh, I think the boutique still has the small, small version of it without the top handle, which is beautiful, but uh, I missed out on that. So maybe something will come around or maybe I'll try to find it on the pre-love market someday. I don't know. But annoying things about the bag is, as I've mentioned, it can get heavy, but that's because you're loading it up. 
Um, another annoying thing is when you put it on your shoulder, at least this is what happens for me. When I put it on my shoulder and it like and it's empty, it's okay. But let's say if it was full, these handles will kind of rub on my elbow as I get in to put it on. Um, that's just inherent to the bag. So, you know, it, it's it's fine. Like it doesn't bother me that much, but it did it is something that might annoy some people. Uh, also these little zipper pockets. So as I mentioned, there's these little leather tabs that have the uh, magnetic button both sides so when you open it it can kind of like bump into this bit here as you open it so you know that's something to keep in mind um maybe it depends on how full your bag is but um yeah that's something that you know you want to keep in mind but other than that it's a great bag price point i mean this is one of the cheapest bags for your buck like you get a lot of bag for your buck with this at Chanel so um, I can see why there's a lot of appeal for it and I hope that the prices don't go up so high on these I haven't seen this um, studded version in a couple of seasons I don't know if they're gonna still do it because they keep coming out with other designs but for a, a good stretch for a couple of years they did do the studded version in like a cream in a burgundy in gray, uh, in navy blue, in uh, black of course, and um, and they've been good. They've uh, had beautiful variations in this. So I do hope to add a black one to my collection because of course everything is better in black. <laughs> but I hope this review was helpful. So don't be afraid of getting the bigger size. I know some people had told me, oh you, the size is too big, it looks too big, but I'm buying it intentionally to be a big bag. Like. If I was going to get a smaller size, then I have other contenders to use. So I want a big bag that I can just throw everything in. So I can understand why a lot of parents would love this bag too, uh, because you just throw all your kids stuff in there and then carry a little personal bag for yourself. Um, but yeah, I hope this was helpful and informative. If I've missed anything, I don't think I've missed anything. I know this wasn't a very structured review and I don't really structure my reviews, I just kind of talk. I hope you like that. Um, I don't like reading off a script then it just messes up the whole vibe but yeah everything that I could potentially think of for this bag I've mentioned um, but if you have any further questions uh, don't hesitate to ask uh, but for these bags if you have the canvas version or the leather version I always recommend getting the leather version um, do get a base shaper um, definitely get a base shaper and then get an organizer as well to protect the inside organize it and also help preserve structure because then it's gonna collapse um, storage wise I haven't put this in storage for the last couple of months because I've been using it but when I did store it I did put all the, all the tissue paper that I came with I put it inside with the organizer and the base shaper I put it in the dust bag and then I just have it on the shelf uh, in the dust bag so that's currently just how I store it it might change in the future okay that's everything I'm gonna stop blabbering I'm gonna move on to the next review and I'll see you next time bye